Couple, this is about the fourth dog proof of the day. Got a decent raccoon. He's been sitting here the whole time just hiding, so don't think I see him. But anyhow, I'm very long little crick here. I got a couple, another rip beside the crick a little ways and didn't get nothing on it. But uh, this is the fourth one, and the, the other two are kind of on the woods. But at least we picked up this one. It's a nice raccoon, decent size one anyway. So get on, we got a lot, a lot more to check for the day. So get moving here. See you at the next one. Seems like no matter how I bed my traps, even if I barely have any dirt covered and whatever, I'm getting a lot of misses. It's the third miss of the day here. This is even a alpha trap, the best trap you one of the best traps you can buy. So, but I do like the way I, I'm going to show how I set these. Uh, they got this thing that sticks out of the back of them. First, I thought it was a bad idea. It'll be hard to bed, but I kind of I'm guessing they leave that there to. When you bed them, you kind of just put them in. You stick that thing that's sticking out into the dirt. And uh, trying to do it with one hand, it's a little harder, but you just push it back in and push the front of the trap down. I really like the way they bed. Kind of like the 550s, the Duke 550s, the way the jaws are. But we'll reset it and. This is kind of right off a of deer trail, so I think this one got the deer got it. And I uh, know deer was in another one because there was deer, actually deer here. And uh, not sure the third one it was pulled out of the bed, so. But none of the holes are dirt holes are dug out either, so up here, none of my dog crews mess with either. Not sure why. Real good woods going to corn. Still not much luck here getting down to my last. I got two traps left after this one. Uh, I pulled 26 traps this morning at the, my first location. I had them all pulled. I started at like 5.30. I was done by about, about 7.30. I had them all pulled, left that location. And I got to this location. And um, let's see, I got, I think I got like around a dozen traps all together, footholds, and then right around 10, 10 dog proofs out, but I've only picked up one raccoon so far. I've got all the dog proofs set on really good locations on the This must have been too windy or something last night. Nothing moved, but uh, yeah, other than the, the first raccoon, I got in a couple of dog proofs from my, another part of the line. And then right here, I had a dog proof right here. And uh, out here, I had a trap, it's on a drag. I had the pan tension set for like three and a half pounds. It's on a bridger number three there. And but that's a big possum. But uh I do have a market for the skulls, so he'll be good for the skull market. I think he's just sleeping. First I thought uh first I thought he was dead, but he's just sleeping. But anyhow, yeah. Had the trap right out here in the edge. go figure instead of messing with that dog proof i had sardines and everything in it and cat food and he still come out this set first so we'll get it set back up and get my chain pounded back in i got a, a ditch dog that way to, to actually set this here yesterday the reason i set this one with a drag here is because i had one trap on me with a drag just in case i get into a hard section hard dirt to drive an anchor in or whatever and um well there's a hunter up here up on the top of the field i seen i don't want to be down here making a bunch of noise he got here after i showed up so no one was here at first i wouldn't have been setting but i didn't want to i set that trap and then i left that was the last one i set so we'll get this guy dispatched i don't know if he's tangled up here what the heck He got tangled between between the trees there, but I'll get him. He got the trap in between them. There's leg between them two trees. What's going on? So we'll get him out of here. Get this reset. I gotta get going. See you at the next one. I got two more sets at a really good location. There, I'm thinking of fox location. I actually set, set the one set for fox. It's a smaller trap with a big dirt hole. So if I get anything there, I'll um, 
make another video here so see you at the next one oh um i forgot to say i haven't even been uh doing many possum any at all my possum catches really videos i let a few of the small ones go but i've been dispatched them now but anyhow the whole reason i made a video is because i had one over on the other side of the field yesterday now usually i let them get out i let them out of my trap get a little bit away from the set this one here i won't have to worry because it, it's on a drag but so i can dispatch it river top but uh i let them get away a little bit away from the set because they're usually pretty slow and they you can dispatch them away from the set and then you're not getting a bunch of blood there well i let the one go yesterday it ran about 10 feet over into like a pile of rocks like this and it went down a little hole so um i was i was figuring it today to have my other set set off but they were all set there but yeah um from now on i'll probably start dispatching them right at the set instead of letting them go because i didn't expect that to happen see you at the next one well guys here's my possum set this location yesterday these two sets and actually the set that i said was a set for fox i'm pretty sure that's the one on this side like a really nice gray fox pretty sure he yeah, has one on this side make sure i got a good catch on him yep yep uh just like i said a fox trap uh, 175 i had set here i missed something over there well that sucks i gotta get going here I have to remake this one real quick and get get that one over there remade and probably missed them. They were real good back till, but he looks bigger. Just laying here now. Must be a female. If you want to move. Huh, I've never caught a gray fox that did that. That's crazy, but anyhow, we'll get a dispatch here and get to the next. Well, I guess that's all my traps for the day. Actually, no, I still have a few down to the bottom. I forgot to set like three more. At the end of the day yesterday i thought these were my last two sets but i got three more at the bottom i still gotta check them real quick so i gotta get going see you at the next one i just wanted to say uh i also baited out with apple road just a regular apple uh apple road bait uh it always usually does really good for fox so that's what i used here with this set so we'll get it remade and hope we get another one